Hey everybody, this is Coach Brendan Klaus, um, giving you a little bit of a video tutorial on how to build your social media page in a professional manner. First thing I wanted to mention was that I am going to use Twitter as the standard for this video. Um, there are many other social media platforms out there. Some require a little bit more professionalism, some require a little bit less professionalism, but because Twitter is the most common, you most commonly used social media platform in my area of coaching, um, I'm going to use that as the example. But this can be applied to any social media platform, um, or I would say most social media platforms that require a social media profile page. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention was that as I talk throughout this video, this is going to be primarily geared towards young athletes who want to get recruited by coaches, but this could also be valuable to those who are watching and maybe you are a coach trying to develop your social media page. Maybe you're a parent trying to develop your social media page. Maybe you're a student, okay? All of the above. Maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a professor, anything like that. Just think about your situation as I talk throughout this video and apply it and hopefully that will bring some value to you personally. Okay. So without further ado, let's get some, let's get into some tips for this building the social media page. Tip number one. All right. This right here is your real name. Okay. We don't want any nicknames or any names that might be confusing for coaches to find. We want your full name, your real name. That way, when we as coaches type it into the search bar, you and your profile page are that much easier to find and we can get into contact and evaluation a lot more efficiently. Okay, so that's probably rule number one for me is using this right here, having your real name listed. All right, tip number two, your handle. All right, this is the at sign right here. Okay, mine is at Coach Klaus 68, as you can see. This kind of goes hand in hand with having your real name on your profile page. You don't want to have a nickname or a handle that is difficult for the coaches to remember listed on your profile page. Okay, we want to make sure it's easy to remember and it's not something like Showtime 24 7 or uh, I don't know, tree hugger one, two, three, four, or this is my Twitter underscore, underscore, underscore. Those, those are difficult handles to remember. So we want to make sure that our handles are easy, efficient. That way the coach can find you or anyone can find you that much easier and get to what they need to do. Start looking at your profile page and evaluating you. Okay. Tip number three is it kind of goes along with this right here. This is the link. You can easily edit this um, when in your Twitter settings. For young athletes, coaches want to see your updated huddle or film link listed in that section of your Twitter bio, okay? We need to make sure that it is the most accessible and the most efficient way for coaches to um, evaluate you. When a coach finds you on Twitter, they can see that link click on it and get straight into the evaluation process. And it's just so much more efficient for it to be listed right outside of everything else, all of those other words. Um, there's a whole nother video I can do about uh, building a proper highlight video, um, but that could be a whole video in itself. So we're not gonna get into that today, but your most updated film, huddle, link, whatever it may be, should go right here in your website section or your link section of your bio. Okay, and if you're somebody who's not an athlete, this could be your company website. This could be your personal website. It could be anything along those lines. Those are ways that people can get to know you a little bit better um, by visiting that website. Tip number four, just a couple things to watch for. Um, and this goes for everybody on all social media platforms. Um, I have four things that I listed that you should watch for. Um, the first one is who you are following. 
if I clicked on this, um, this is just the image right now, but if I clicked on this 480 following, um, I would be able to see everybody that I follow. And that goes the same way for coaches to athletes or basically just any person to any person. They are able to see who you are following if you have a public account. If you have a private account, then they will not be able to see this until the user gives permission. But in most general public cases, most general public profiles, everyone can see who you are following. They can also see what you are liking. Okay, so you may think that your likes are invisible. They're not. If somebody is following you, they can go to your likes and scroll through what you are liking. So if you're liking something that may not be appropriate for um, whatever your profession may be, your followers can see that. Sometimes they even get notifications on their timeline about it. Okay, so we just want to make sure we're careful with that. Um, the third thing, we need to watch out for what we retweet. Okay, as we can see, I am only retweeting things that have to do with my organization in Mountain Union football. Um, just because you didn't tweet it, um, it may be considered unprofessional to your followers or something like that. So we need to just be careful about what we are retweeting um, when using social media. And that also goes for not only retweets, but your own tweets. Um, we just need to make sure that that is all appropriate, all professional, and we are continuing to build our brand in whatever occupation we may be. All right. Tip number five, just a couple of biography recommendations, okay? This is often called the biography or the bio, okay? Um, as a coach to a young athlete, I would recommend having your updated cumulative GPA in your bio. I would have your graduation year in your bio, and I would also have your position, your uh, athletic sport position in your bio as well. Um, this just makes it much more efficient for coaches to get an eval on a guy um, or girl and just be sure that they are um, getting all the necessary information that they can get. So that's kind of tip number five. Our last tip, tip number six, are other recommendations that I have for young athletes. The very first thing that I would say to an athlete if they want to get recruited into the next level, into a college level, is turn this bad boy on, okay? This little letter should be able to be seen by all your coaches, okay? What that is, is your open DMs or your open direct messages. This is probably the best way for coaches to reach out to players. They can, they don't have to wait for a cell phone number. They don't have to look for a certain email. If they find you on Twitter as an athlete, they can just open that letter type whatever message they need to and get in contact much more efficiently and access that information quicker. So I think that's a very valuable tool for both coaches and athletes. And again, this can be very valuable for anyone who is using social media, having your direct messages open. Um, for athletes, also have your height and weight listed. This can be listed in the huddle. This can be listed in the biography. It really doesn't matter. Um, but those are that's just another piece of information that coaches are often looking for when going through the evaluation process. Uh, another recommendation would be contact information. If you don't feel comfortable having direct messages open, then just be sure as a young athlete who wants to play at the next level, um, make sure there is a way for coaches to get in contact with you. So if you want to list your personal cell number, um, if you want to list your personal email, that is all a personal decision, but it's, off, it's often best to have some way of contact between you and the coach. Um, and then also in your biography, you can list other accolades, whether you do things in the off season, whether you were first team all state, first team all conference, things like that can often go um, the extra mile with coaches and players. And the last piece of advice that I would have for young athletes would be to direct message college coaches your film link and your information. In today's world, this is the way that people communicate with each other. Um, it used to be very old fashioned, but now it is much more efficient and it is the way it is. And 
like I said, this can not only be applied to athletes, but most other people who use a social media page as well. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you found that valuable. Um, if you would like me to um, create another video, please let me know and I will be happy to do that. Hope this helped. Thanks.